<laughs> if you love streams, follow me on Twitch. That's where the action is. What is up guys, Vinge here doing an update video, and yes, it has been forever since I've done a video like this. However, I felt like this was very important to share because I'm sure there are some of you that don't know what's going on or you're wondering why I don't stream on YouTube anymore because every now and then I get that question so I really want to elaborate on that f one more time I mean I did streams talking about this matter back in February and I'm hoping to make this the last time I do a video <laughs> such as this but I just don't like the idea of keeping people in the dark uh, so I mean this all started as a slow transition but now I am fully committed to Twitch in regards to Nintendo streaming and why you might ask I'm going to summarize it as quickly as possible and I'm gonna share my opinion about YouTube in regards to what I'm doing okay this is my opinion I mean you don't have to agree with it but just keep in mind this is my opinion on the matter um and so let's get it cracking so for me youtube is an unstable platform at least for me you know there's been a startling amount of people that didn't get notifications for streams and videos people that follow my streams get notifications an hour after the stream started and people that subscribed are being auto unsubscribed by YouTube itself and these issues are unacceptable because it made it difficult to progress even with the dope community that I do have which is very unfortunate um, in the past the person told me to believe in my community to get through this mess I believe and love the community, but even a great community, which I do possess, cannot combat an unstable platform. MY OPINION! Anyway, some say these problems don't affect me, some say walking away from YouTube isn't the solution, some say use difficult, I mean, excuse me, use different tools to aid you, but what happens if the platform you're on doesn't give the people who support you a fair opportunity to visit you? What happens when the platform no longer does things to support streams when you only focus more on streams? YouTube's instability is demotivating for me personally since it is keeping the community I built around my channel from actually watching me and that is the reason why I moved over to Twitch fully in regards to Nintendo streams. You know, I still stream mainly Nintendo content and I follow the same exact vibe of positivity. Family friendly content has always and will remain the thing that, you know, I believe in and follow that path that I always tread. I mean, it's family friendly content. Now, as far as YouTube is concerned, I still plan to use it, but I'm going to focus more on gaming videos that I feel like doing at the current moment. You know, there are a lot of games that I wanted to share for years in video form, but there was so much that got in the way of that. But now I feel like YouTube can serve me in that regard, um, because there are a lot of games I have that I haven't touched um, for a lot of crazy reasons so i mean it would be great if i can take those games and make use of them again <laughs> so <clears throat> therefore if you want my family friendly nintendo streams you gotta follow me on twitch in order to get what you have missed i mean i know i have youtube friends that still use youtube and i have no quarrels with that you know i still support them when i can because I am still a part of the Nintendo community regardless of platform. I would like to thank all of you that supported me over the years. I appreciate all of the amazing support because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have been in the position that I'm in. And I would like to give a super thank you to those of you that still support me by following me on Twitch, supporting me in your own special way, or just not treating me like um, how should I say this? 
just not treating me any differently because I am now mainly streaming on a different platform. Um, one thing that I will say in that regards, uh, when it comes to community, it shouldn't matter what platform that you're on, as long as you're doing your best to provide content to your viewers and still keeping contact with the community itself. I mean, going to a different platform doesn't mean that you're walking away, going to a different platform doesn't mean that someone is like abandoning people because you have to understand as a content creator people have to do what's best for them and since YouTube wasn't working out for me I had to do what's best for me and ever since I moved over to Twitch all of those issues that I just shared with you I don't have that problem there that is the reason why I moved over to switch to basically solve the problem that I've been having which was lack of communication lack of notifications it really makes a huge difference when it comes to streaming like if people are not getting notifications if people are getting notifications late that technically hurts you and even hurts the viewers and in some cases it actually demotivates viewers from actually watching you because they're encountering all these problems like Dino mentioned to me some time ago that when I uploaded that first Devil May Cry 5 stream I mean not stream but that first Devil May Cry 5 video that let's play that I uploaded recently he told me he didn't get a notification and that was just a video so that's a problem <laughs> so I've been dealing with that problem quite a bit and Dino even shared with me that um there were some well-known Pokemon YouTubers that suffered severely from the strange things that YouTube has been doing to the point where their viewership has literally been cut in half like you guys know Vinny or also known as if I'm not mistaken original either it was original 101 or original 51 I always forget the digits on that but you know who Vinny is because Vinny raided me multiple times and his streams literally got cut in half that's severe 50% is a big number and then looking back at the things that happen to me with all the unsubs that I get almost every day, it's really demotivating and it hurts your progress, among other things. So, that's all I have to say in regards to the matter, but thank you all for your amazing support, and I hope to see you all in the near future. And I just gotta thank you all again, because if it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't even be streaming right now. I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be on Twitch. I wouldn't be making YouTube videos. So, I mean, thank you all, man. It means a lot to me. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. So, peace and God bless.